Hey y'all, it's Jill from Ripped Jeans and Bifocals and we are gonna do a really quick makeup tutorial. I call this one hiking makeup. And you might say, Jill, why do you need makeup to go hiking? And the answer is you don't. You never need makeup, or at least I think you never need makeup. I think it's somebody's personal decision whether or not they choose to wear makeup and for, for what activity or occasion they choose to wear it. But I wear this one uh, when we go hiking for a couple of different reasons. Um, it, it offers me uh, some additional sun protection. It's a very uh, quick, light, uh, put together and get out the door look that I can uh, do for hiking. You can also do it for skiing or uh, theme parks or when you're going to be like out with your kids on the sports field and you just want a little bit uh, more of a protected and put together look. Um, I, I don't think that anybody necessarily needs it. But also as a blogger and a travel writer, uh, we're out and about a lot. We hike a lot. We do a lot of outdoor things. And I'm in a lot of pictures. So, um, you know, I, I do these uh, this little quick, uh, maybe five minute uh, makeup routine to just sort of uh, elevate my look and give me something that's a little bit more polished. And um, here we go. You can get uh, the list of products that I'm using at ripjeansandbifocals.com forward slash hiking makeup and it'll give you uh, updates on any discounts there are that are available on the products I'm using. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. I hope I've got uh, all my stuff with me because I am not in the bathroom and uh, we're going to make it work with um, with what we've got. So I think about five minutes start to finish. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer today because I'm yapping but I'm going to start off with a mineral sunscreen that's got a little bit of tint in it. This is from Coats and it is a all natural sunscreen and I usually don't uh, like the natural sunscreens as well because they don't seem to do their job with sun protection and this one does and it's got a light tint on it and it'll it'll match with the tone on your face if you're not you know totally dark so I put all this on and I started and I, I you can see I'm doing it uh, with my fingers here you could use a, um, a makeup sponge or a brush um, if you if you really wanted to and that's how I usually apply foundation, but uh, for this I'm just gonna slap it on there. And as you can see, uh, and that was completely bare makeup or bare faced, and I've got uh, a fair kind of, uh, you know, ruddy medium skin. So you can see it's not giving me a lot of coverage, um, and it's giving me just sort of a, a, a sheen and a, and a glow. Um, and if you wanna use this as primer for your everyday, this has, uh, 50 SPF 50, SPF 50 protection, and I also um, I also have a sunscreen in my uh, day lotion as well, so I'm getting a double dose. Um, you can see this little uh, wrinkle uh, thing crater on my chin, and that's that basal cell carcinoma where I had a, uh, a tumor dug out of my nose um, when I was in my 30s. But um, yeah, I've had several instances of, instances of that, so sun protection is super important to me. So I've just got a double dose, got a tiny, tiny bit of coverage, and I'm gonna slap on just a tiny bit of concealer here and this is a uh, Maybelline master conceal I'm not you know in love with it or I don't I don't I don't hate it it's just you know what I happen to be using at the moment and I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyelashes eyelashes eyes because uh, I'm perpetually tired I also do a little bit right in here because that's just where I have some like you know really like you know dry dry skin so I put that on and I blend it uh, you know in with the sponge pretty well because this is actually a heavier texture uh, than what I put um, than I put on as a, as a base so I want to make sure that it doesn't look cakey and I do uh, a little bit on my uh, eyelids as well just to kind of blend it around and um, I, I sort of does double duty as my uh, eyeshadow primer uh, when I'm getting fancy, I use a separate eyeshadow primer, but um, I am um, going to wear just a little bit today, so I'll use this. And then you can um, you can spot uh, correct if you have, like I have a hyperpigmented spot uh, right there. I uh, just put a little bit, a little bit on that and I use um, a makeup sponge. Uh, this is an e.l.f. makeup sponge. It's uh, it's well loved right now. I actually ordered them now on subscription from Amazon so they uh, fresh ones come to my door uh, periodically but I just I blend everything and I just blend that in just a little bit so that it's not uh, like ultra cakey. So I am gonna do uh, a really quick lip liner and uh, I have <laughs> I've like lost two lip pencils this week. Um, I, don't, I don't know how people do that but this is kind of like like a pinky nude uh, lip liner and I'm just going to follow the natural line of my lips. And 
and then put a little in there just for some extra staying power. And then I'm not sure what brand this is. Uh, this is my like backup uh, lip liner. I got a brand new one from uh, uh, NYX and uh, then I got a kind of a wine colored one in my Ipsy bag that I would use for like darker lipstick and I can't find either one of them. So uh, I don't know how people lose uh, lip liners. So I've got a little bit of, um, I brought the wrong uh, blush stick down here with me so we're just gonna go with it. I usually use a Burt's Bees uh, lip and cheek stick uh, but this sort of looks like the same product and this is what I have so we're gonna go with that. Uh, but uh, it's I, I put the blush right there. Um, I've been experimenting with that uh, cream blush if you watched any of my other videos because I, I like it because it doesn't uh, settle into my, my lines and wrinkles and it just has um, on my on my mature skin, it seems like it has a little bit of a, a nicer texture uh, to it. So I just use just a little bit and blend it in. Uh, you could also use a bronzer stick or something like that. Um, I'm not doing any contouring or highlighting today. Uh, just uh, just blending just to give myself a little bit of color. And um, I usually just put a little bit on if I feel, you know, the color is not deep enough or I want a little bit uh, more. You can always add more, but I always uh, start off with, with less. And I'm disappointed that I brought this one down here to my little video spot because I really, really like the Burt's Bees one. Uh, this It does double duty as a a, 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 <laughs> a cheek stick and a lipstick. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and not put this on my lips. I'm going to use just a, a clear uh, a moisturizing lip balm uh, over my lip liner. And uh, when I'm going to be out of doors all day, uh, I'm just going to go pick up my kids here in a little bit and take them to martial arts. But uh, I use a Coats uh, SPF 45 uh, lip balm as well. And it's also lightly tinted, but you can't really tell um, on, on your lips. Uh, it, it, the color in the tube appears as brown, but um, it, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't change the lip color. It's like your natural lip tone, I think. But SPF 45 is what is uh, dermatologist recommended for uh, lip protection when you're out of doors. So... Make sure you do that. This one is, it came in an Ipsy bag. It is Star Mint Glossy Balm. Oh, I've talked about this one before. This is Jersey, Snor Jersey Shore Cosmetics. Um, and it's a good lip balm, but um, it had to make me laugh. I feel like I need like a bump it up here or something. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put on a little bit of brow gel. Uh, this is a NYX Control Freak Clear Brow Gel. And as you can see, my eyebrows aren't very dark. Um, my stylist usually uh, dyes them to match my hair and we forgot to do it uh, last time. So when I'm getting more dressed it up, I use a, uh, a tinted brow gel. But for this one, I'm just gonna just, it just adds a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of polish. It's clear, it's forgiving. So if I were applying it this, um, this slap dash and uh, it had a color in it, it would be uh, not on my eyebrows. But it just, um, you know, and it probably isn't anything that um, changes my look um, per se, but it makes me feel a lot more, um, a lot. And I, I forgot my finishing spray, dang it. Um, I have, this is like my first uh, like full on beauty tutorial. So I guess I probably maybe get a C if y'all are being uh, generous, but I'm doing a little bit of, um a little bit of eyeshadow, uh, and I am a drugstore brand uh, cosmetics girl for the most part, uh, but this is one thing that I will always have. It's a, a eyeshadow palette from um, Urban Decay, and it's got these uh, lovely neutrals in it, and you can see it's really well used, and the colors have fun, name, fun names like Virgin, Sin, Naked. I'm gonna use a little bit of Half Baked, Half to Bake, Half Baked on my eyelids, just like so, just to give a little bit of a And I always go with more is less, uh, or less is more, less is more. Uh, so I start very light, and if I look at it and decide I want a little bit more, uh, it looks like we need a little bit more over there, I can go ahead and apply it. Uh, it's easier to put more on than to take it off, right? So just a little bit. That is a very uh, like subtle look. And I'm gonna blend it again really quick just to make sure that it's not you know, too makeup-y looking. And at this point, uh, if I had it with me, I would usually put on a setting spray to kind of um, you know, hold it all together. Uh, you can also uh, do like a small dusting of, of powder. Do y'all love this brush or what? It's awesome. Uh, just to take the shine off a little bit. I kind of like that like glowy, dewy look. Um, 
just because I, uh, I'm gonna be you know, out of doors and running around. And if I do like a matte powdery look, it's gonna uh, settle into my lines and I'm probably gonna look glowy and sweaty and dewy, it sounds so much better, right? In, um, in about an hour anyway. So I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of mascara. This is better than sex uh, mascara. Um, I'm kind of meh on it. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with mascara and somebody suggested this. Let me go ahead and put my ring back on since I am done, uh, done with my face. And uh, somebody suggested it and I don't hate it, but I, I, think, uh, I think I like the cheapy mascara uh, better. Uh, the last one I had was um, Scandal Eyes from Rimmel, uh, which is like a super cheap brand. Uh, this was uh, over $20 and I'm not sure it's worth it. But for this look, I just tip my eyelashes slightly. just really super lightly. And we all do like the gaping codfish thing and we put makeup on. And that is it. It's a, just a really light uh, finished makeup. I can uh, put my ball cap on, uh, twist my hair up, put it back in a ponytail, uh, grab my water bottle and um, we are ready to uh, hit the trails and uh, get some hiking done and I've got a little bit of a finish and uh, I can uh, feel better in pictures without looking like I am overly made up. So check out ripjeansandbifocals.com forward slash hiking makeup and you can get uh, a complete list of the products I used and also the ones that I was supposed to use. See you later.